In our worldview today, Russia is preparing for another round of military drills this weekend with President Vladimir Putin personally overseeing the exercises. The defense ministry says the latest drills will include multiple launches of intercontinental ballistic missiles and cruise missiles. Naval exercises will also be conducted in the Northern and Black Sea with Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko also overseeing those war games. The show of force comes even as the White House holds talks with Western leaders in a last-ditch effort to avoid a conflict between Russia and Ukraine. President Biden expected to hold a call with the leaders of France, Germany and the UK this afternoon, while Vice President Kamala Harris traveled to the Munich Security Conference to meet with NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is set to meet with Russia's foreign minister next week under the condition that Russia not engage in military attacks against Ukraine. Over in Canada, Ottawa police have begun arresting protesters from the so-called Freedom Convoy in an attempt to end a three-week blockade. Officers moved in on protest organizers late Thursday, arresting Tamara Lick and Chris Barber on charges of aiding and abetting mischief. At least seven others have been arrested without force this morning, according to police. Demonstrators have brought much of downtown Ottawa to a standstill since they began protesting COVID-19 vaccine mandates last month, leading to a tense standoff with police. Ottawa's police chief, chief resigned earlier this week over his department's handling of the incidents. And over in Greece, at least 11 passengers are missing after a fire broke out on board a ferry to Italy overnight near the island of Corfu. Video captured here by eyewitnesses show smoke engulfing the Euro ferry Olympia as crews scrambled to rescue survivors. Roughly 240 passengers were on board with 51 crew members. At least two are waiting to be airlifted after being trapped inside the ship's garage. According to the Greek Coast Guard, the ferry was headed to the Italian port of Brindisi, about nine hours away when the flames broke out and passengers have been evacuated to Corfu where they are being treated for any injuries.